Let's talk about some transducers. This one here has a supply voltage of 7 to 35 volts DC and an output of from 4 to 20 milliamps with a range of 0 to 200 psi. So at 0 psi it puts out 4 milliamps and at 200 psi it puts out 20 milliamps. These are 250 uh, psi so at 250 psi it puts out 20 milliamps. These are rated from 0 to 15 psi, 4 to 20 milliamps, 10 to 30 volts DC. So at 0 psi it puts out 4 milliamps and at 15 psi pounds per square inch it puts out 20 milliamps. Uh, this one's 250 uh, psi, 4 to 20 milliamps, 7 to 35 volts. This one here is uh, 200 psi. These are all output of current, 4 to 20 milliamps. Uh, you c some units will put out a voltage, uh, 0 to 5 or, or 0.5 to 0.45 or 0 to 10 volts. These put out a frequency. This one's from uh, 1 to 6 kilohertz. Now, some of the original PLCs didn't have analog inputs, so we would just use one of these and we could count the frequency coming in. It puts out a square wave and we could calculate the, uh, the amount of pressure by counting up the, the frequency coming in. If we didn't have uh, one of these units and we just had a 4 to 20 milliamps, you could use a unit like this, which takes the, uh, the current and converts that to a frequency. We'd count the frequency and calculate the amount of pressure we had. So we need to know some terms. Head is the height at which a pump can raise water. So one foot of head is equal to 0.433 psi. If you take the reciprocal of that, 2.31 foot of head is 1 psi. So what that means is that uh, a column of water that's 2.3 feet tall exerts a pressure of 1 pound per square inch. So a column of water that's 10 foot tall will have a pressure of 4.33 psi. Now, I'm going to use an Arduino to measure the level in a tank and the tank is uh, only 10 foot tall so I'm going to use a transducer that's rated for uh, 0 to 5 psi 4 to 20 milliamps so now the the Arduino Nano has a 10 bit analog to digital converter and it converts 0 to 5 volts into integer values between 0 and uh, 1023 so to convert 4 to 20 milliamps to 0 to 5 volts, we'll use a 250 ohm resistor. Now we put the transducer, it's, it's in this loop here, it's just in series with the 250 ohm resistor, and then we have our analog input over here. Now, if we run 4 milliamps through that loop, 4 times 250 ohms is going to be equal to 1 volt. We're going to drop 1 volt across here. Now, at 5 psi, my transducer is going to put out 20 milliamps. 20 milliamps times 250 ohms is going to be 5 volts. I'll be dropping 5 volts across here. So the data offset is just the data that's in the input register at 4 milliamps. And that's going to be 204. Now the data span is going to be 819. And that's just the data at 20 milliamps minus the data at 4 milliamps. So at 20 milliamps, it's going to be 1,023, and we subtract 204 from that, and we get our data span. Okay. Now we have an engineering unit, and that's going to be 11.55. Now we get that by taking the pressure at 20 milliamps, which is going to be 5, times the foot of head at 1 psi. So feet of head at 1 psi, that's 2.31, so we take 5 times... 3.2, excuse me, 2.31 is equal to 11.55. Now, at 5 psi, it'll show us uh, that we'll have a level of 11.55, a column of water that's 11.5 five foot tall. Now, we have a factor here. And that's 0 0.0141. And we get that by dividing this uh, engineering unit by our data span. 11.55 divided by our 819. Okay. So to calculate the feet of water, we just take the data that's in the register, 
minus 205 times 0 0.0141. Now, in the Arduino, it's a lot easier. We just do a, I'm doing a setup, void setup here with just a serial begin so I can look at the level at the mo with the monitor. I'm taking this, uh, this reading. You could call this anything you want. It's just the value that's in the analog read in, I'm using A0 here. Now I'm using a float and value floating is just a data type for uh, floating point numbers. So we have decimals and I'm calling that a level. So the reading is equal to the level. And then I take the level is going to be equal to the level minus 204 times 0 0.0141. And then I'm just going to read that out onto my, uh, the monitor. Now I made up a unit here to do this. This is the top of the unit and this is a look at the underside of the unit. I'm looking at it this way here and I did it that way so that I could put the little run the wire loops around here. Now transducers over here it's running through the this loop here through the 250 ohm resistor and back down to negative here. This is optional. I added a, a 0.1 microfarad capacitor across it to, to smooth anything out and uh, 10k coming into the, uh, the analog input. Those are both optional. You can just use the 250 ohm resistor. I'm using a bridge rectifier so that if I uh, mess up and I get the uh, plus and minus wrong I won't wreck my Arduino here. I might even take the transducer, the positive off the transducer and take it off of this side over here. But uh, then I come it off here with just a voltage regulator for my 5 volts to run the, uh, the Nano. Okay, I'm using the Nano to run the C12, a little um, transmitter, and I'm transmitting the, uh, the tank level to another site.